Hey coders! Welcome back to Get the Marvel, where we break down coding concepts in a way that's easy and fun. I'm GTM. Today, we're diving into the wonderful world of non-primitive data types in Java. Think of these as the deluxe models of data types, they come with a few more features and are a bit more high maintenance. But don't worry, we'll make it all crystal clear. Explanation of non-primitive data types. So, what exactly are non-primitive data types? Well, unlike primitive data types like int, char, and boolean that hold simple values, non-primitive data types, also known as reference types, can hold much more complex structures. These include things like classes, arrays, and interfaces. Classes Let's start with classes. In Java, a class is a blueprint for creating objects. It defines a data type by bundling data and methods that work on the data into one single unit. Think of it like a recipe, it tells you what ingredients, data, you need and the steps, methods, to create a dish object. Imagine a class called car. It has properties like color, brand, and speed. You can create multiple car objects like red Ferrari or blue Toyota, each with its own set of values for those properties. Arrays. Next up, arrays. An array is a collection of elements all of the same type, stored in contiguous memory locations. It's like a row of lockers where you can store your stuff, but all lockers must store the same type of thing. If you have an array of integers, every locker in that array will store an integer. Interfaces. Then we have interfaces. Think of an interface like a contract. It specifies what methods a class must implement but not how they're implemented. It's a way to enforce certain functionalities without dictating the specifics. If you have an interface called animal with methods like eat and sleep, any class that implements animal must have these methods, but the details of how they eat or sleep are up to the individual class. Current day examples. How do these fit into the real world? Let's break it down. Classes apps on your phone are full of objects created from classes. Your chat app, for instance, might have classes for user, message, and conversation. Arrays Arrays are used everywhere, from storing data in games to managing lists of users in an application. Interfaces Think about plugins for your favorite software. They often use interfaces to ensure compatibility without caring about the inner workings. These concepts might seem overwhelming at first, but once you get the hang of it, you can't live without them. So there you have it. A quick tour through the world of non-primitive data types in Java. Remember, practice makes perfect. Play around with these in your code and see how they work for yourself. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to get the marvel, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. Stay marvelous and keep coding. Until next time, I'm GTM and this is Get the Marvel. See you soon.